This is the All Elite Wrestling Dynamite Road Rager Full Show Results Video. The show started with the match between Chris Jericho vs Ortiz, and this match for Hair vs Hair, and the result of this match was Chris Jericho defeated Ortiz by pinfall with a lateral press because Fuego Del Sol attacked on Ortiz with a baseball but the referee didn't see that. After the match Fuego Del Sol unmasked himself, and it was Sammy Guevara inside the mask. Ortiz takes the clippers from the barber and cuts his hair with scissors as Eddie reminds us that he's a man of his word and this ain't done. Blood and Guts Then we saw a match between 20 security guards versus Wardlow for the class action settlement elimination match, and the result of this match was Wardlow won the match by eliminating 7 guys at once and determining the lawsuit in his favor with many many powerbombs. Post-match Dan Lambert gets on the mic to tell him to look over his shoulder because you mess with American top team and they'll get you. Tyrone Woodley and Matt Hughes are in the front row and Dan tells them to go in the ring and take out the garbage. Woodley and Sterling come to the ring, but Woodley throws Sterling into Wardlow, and Wardlow hits a powerbomb on Sterling. Then we saw a match between Dax Harwood vs Will Ospreay, and the result of this match was Will Ospreay wins by pinfall with the hidden blade. Post-match the rest of United Empire get in the ring but Cash Wheeler and Roppongi Vice are right behind them to try and even the odds. But then we saw the return of Orange Cassidy. Everyone else disperses and Cassidy slides into the ring to confront Osprey, and Osprey left the ring. The next segment was John Moxley vs Hiroshi Tanahashi face-off, and both make their entrances. Moxley said to Tanahashi that he's been chasing him for a long time and now here he is in all of his glory. There are a lot of titles in wrestling and a lot of tournaments but only one man they call ace, and that's Tanahashi, and at Forbidden Door Tanahashi-san is going to call Moxley ace. Chris Jericho interrupted them and said the only reason Moxley is in the ring is that he wasn't here last week and this is his spot and he knows it. He threatens to spike his eye again or launch a fireball and reminds Tanahashi that he beat him in the Tokyo Dome two years ago. Hiroshi tells Chris to shut up and Y2J6 is stable on them but Lance Archer and El Desperado attack Mox and Tanahashi from behind. Jericho formally welcomes Sammy and Tay to the jazz and talks about how much sex they have to which they oblige by smooching. Chris talks up Archer and Despi and says they're on loan from Minoru Suzuki, who he'll be tagging with Suzuki Guevara and Jericho versus Moxley's young boy Yuta his other son Shota Umino and because he can't wait to get his hands on him again that piece of trash Eddie Kingston. Tanahashi and Moxley clear the ring and stare at each other down. Then we saw a match between Ethan Page vs Miro in the All-Atlantic Championship Tournament first round match, and the result of this match was Miro defeated Ethan Page via submission after connecting the game over submission lock. Then we saw a match between Dr. Britt Baker vs Tony Storm, and the result of this match was Tony Storm defeated Britt Baker via pinfall after connecting the Storm Zero finishing move. Hangman Adam Page makes his entrance and gets on the mic. He says he called out Kazuchika Okada because he wanted a match against him in his title match, but he lost his title against Jay White. But sentiment hasn't changed and the challenge still stands, and then he was interrupted by the Adam Cole and said to Page that he won't challenge for the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship at Forbidden Door because it's not about All Elite Wrestling or NJPW it's about Undisputed Elite and Bullet Club and that means Adam Cole vs Jay White. Adam Cole welcomed Jay White but White came from behind and hit Blade Runner on Hangman Page. He cuts a promo and says he won't be putting the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship on the line it won't be against Page. And it won't be against Cole either. Jay White left the ring, and Adam Cole was looking so confused. In the main event we saw a tag team ladder match between Jurassic Express vs Young Bucks for the All Elite Wrestling World Tag Team Championship and the result of this match was Young Bucks grab the titles by climbing the ladder, and become the two-time All Elite Wrestling World Tag Team Champions. Post-match Christian Cage shocked the world by attacking on Jungle Boy, and then attacked again by a steel chair, and the show went off the air.